what's up guys, Jason of New Year's Revolution in the car. Just because, uh, just because, I, uh, I posted that uh, antenna video, the antenna pickup, and got some really good suggestions for some uh, final touches for the room, which, you know, I, I'm jotting down. Somebody suggested ashtrays, candy dishes. I mean, they're all brilliant. They're all brilliant. And I, and I will, they, they, they absolutely must be there. Um, I'll just get them when it's, when it's time, you know, when I have the couch in there. Uh, not a, not a rant and not a whatever happened to kind of a combination of that. And maybe even a question this morning, you know, my seven-year-old comes down and as he always does, he gets up before anybody else and jumps on the couch with me at seven and you know seven thirty or whatever and and he just sits there for a minute and then I'm like you you want the remote and he's like yeah you know he's about to watch his morning television standard right we've been doing that for decades except his routine is a little bit different he immediately turns on YouTube right he immediately turns on YouTube and he watches his shows his YouTube shows and you know my 10 year old does the exact same thing um, and I find myself doing the exact same thing so I guess the, the question is has YouTube become you know the 80s television of 2023 has YouTube replaced, I don't know, Spectrum, DirecTV, Dish Network, as far as entertainment that we actually want to watch? Uh, for my household, absolutely 100%. And uh, that's strange because I, you know, I'm such a, a fan of television, but a particular obviously a particular era of television. Uh, but I'm such a fan of the, you know, TV guide and the weeknight primetime lineup, the network lineup. You know, I'm such a fan of the Saturday night movie on HBO, you know, the, the new release movie, which is just such a dead concept. Um, you know, I'm such a fan of the, the interesting things you might find at midnight or 1 a.m. On a, on a Saturday night on your television. Again, gone. Completely gone is that, in, is that entire concept, gone. So our household, the kids, uh, we have YouTube TV. That's the, <clears throat> I guess that's our cable provider. Um, and that only exists because of uh, AEW wrestling, which we we were pretty hardcore into for a while. We went to like three shows. And then, uh, and then I don't know, the kids are just fading out of it. Like that breaks my heart a little bit because they have thousands of dollars in wrestling figures, but... Um, I don't know. We're not even really watching that anymore as much. And other than that, uh, the, I don't even think my kids know how to navigate YouTube TV. I don't, I've never seen them actually get on YouTube television and find a show. Um, they don't, they don't get the concept of networks. They don't, they don't have a clue about that stuff. Um, Liam has started watching, like we watch stuff, like we watched The Mandalorian and we watched Boba Fett, you know, that's all off of Disney, I think. But to like sit down at eight o'clock on, on the couch and tune into whatever sitcom is on CBS, that hasn't, honestly, that hasn't happened in my house, um, since the King of Queens, honestly, since the King of Queens which I think went off in the, I don't know, early 2000s. That's the last time, and the kids weren't even born then, but that's the last time like there was a television show that we would watch at nighttime. Then I think we watched, 
trading spaces on on the like uh, the learning channel or the travel channel or whatever it was trading spaces where people would go in and just wreck each other's homes and remodel their rooms and then the diners and the dives and drives or whatever we would watch but other than that we haven't we and that's years ago that's all that's all gone now so now for me, you know, it's, 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 I, I'll just flip through my subscriptions list, which has been taken over by Liam, but I'll just flip through the subscriptions list. You know, who have I, you know, who, who do I got to catch up on? Um, anything and everything you want now is, is on YouTube, even television shows, even movies, sporting events. You know, I, I watched the other day, I watched the, uh, the demolition of sports stadiums. Sure, that's a la carte TV that we've all been asking for. You know, I looked up videos of, of stadium demolitions, right? Blowing up old football stadiums. Cool, great. I was entertained for 20 minutes and that was it, it was over. It's just so bizarre how we've, how television, just like with everything else. And again, I, I you know, I talk about it all the time. Like stuff just has to change and has to be morphed and has to fit a particular agenda and has to look like this and has to feel a certain way and look a certain way and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I couldn't tell you two current television shows on network TV. Not, not two. I'd have to think to come up with one. I don't know, is Big Bang Theory still on? I'd have to come up with... I'd have to think to come up with one show that's on network TV. Modern Family, is that still on? I'm not kidding. Um, so, what, what do you guys... I, I know my man, Stephen Brown. I know he watches some Friday night shows, Chicago Fire or ER or what, I don't know. One of those style of shows. Is ER still on? Are they in like season 48? Uh, so I know that there are people out there who obviously tune into network television or traditional cable, but what are you watching? What are you, you know, what's, what's good? Because I would think that even those Chicago Fire shows or... You know, the, 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 the tradition, you know, it's it, just give it whatever title you want. It's all the same, same concept. You know, they've been doing it forever. It's good. It's fine. I, but I would, I, I would think that even those shows get, get a little bit too modernly nauseating. I would think, and you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to spell it out. You know what I mean? But it's just, it's just hard to stomach, you know? It's hard to watch. Um, I don't know. And I think YouTube told, YouTube tells us that we actually do like reality television. Because YouTube is, is like the most reality television there is. It's, it's regular people doing regular things. And we can pick and choose what we want to watch. I think we've wanted that forever. I think we've wanted that since like, that's why, that's why reality TV took off the way it did. You know, we had the, we had the real world and road rules and big brother. And I think the best seasons of those were season one, like season one of the real world probably was less scripted than, than anything that's ever been on television before. And then every season after that, they had to make it interesting. They had to pick and choose who was going to be on the show. They had to set up brawls and feuds. So they would, you know, those shows are set up to have a gender war, a race war, a sexuality war, an age war. All of them are. All of them are. And, and that's always what happens on those shows. So I'm like, all right, this is pro wrestling. You know, again, this is scripted television. I don't want to watch it. And I think YouTube gives us the opportunity to, to watch people that we like and that we would be friends with, right? 
you're not gonna you're not gonna watch you don't watch television you don't watch Friday night TV on ABC and go I watch this because I really like these people as people and I would like to be friends with them because they're not real people right but YouTube is full of real people doing real things and you make connections with them like you like them the biggest example of that for me and I've said this before and I told him I would mention this but my, again, my man, Stephen Brown, he has been doing a show and I don't even, I forget what he's titling it, like a day in the life. And literally what he does is he films like a day or two of his life and he's a regular person that does regular things. And for some reason, I can't, I can't not watch it. I love it. I love watching my man Stephen Brown um, cook himself breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, dinner he doesn't cook because he gets a Big Mac. Uh, I love watching him cook himself breakfast and lunch. I love watching him talk to his cat. I love watching him box up his eBay sales and watch Home Improvement, which he's not doing anymore. He finished it. Why? Because that's like, you know, that's just regular people doing regular stuff. I, that's the that's the entertainment that I need. I don't I don't need the garbage that's on television. And if I want to spice it up a little bit on YouTube, I watch people doing weird things. Right? I watch people doing eating challenges. I watch people. You know, if you want comedy, you can watch bloopers from every TV show, or you can just watch fails funny fail videos of people falling. I can watch old sporting events. I can watch the old professional bowlers tour from 1981 if I want. The entire freaking season is on YouTube. I can watch myself. <laughs> I love it. I love, I love how this has become our new television. You know, forget cable companies battling with each other. Forget cable versus uh, satellite. Cable companies and satellite providers should be terrified of YouTube. Because more people are watching YouTube than are settling down for the 10 o'clock NBC television show. And NBC knows that. Right? Anyway. So wh what, do you, what do you watch? Has YouTube become our new television? Or do you still do you still watch modern TV? You know, do you still enjoy whatever show is on ABC nine o'clock on Friday nights? I don't even know if it shows anymore. Is it shows? I, you know, are they scripted? Show? I don't even know anymore. I think I could name one show because I keep seeing the name for it. It's it's like Bob Hart. Alashanda or something like that. That's the only show that I think still exists. And I don't even know if I got the names right. I don't know. Anyway. What am I talking about? This is just my opinion. I, I could be wrong. Good night.